Hey there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd. It is February 2023. It's um, short sleeve shirts weather here in Southern California and we are planning to revitalize our strawberry beds. Strawberry plants people mostly say, at least the experts say, oh hey mittens, um, <laughs> she's always stealing focus. It's You're supposed to replant or you know pull and plant new strawberries every two to three years but I find that's a lot of money down the tubes when actually you can get your existing plants back in shape with just a few simple steps. So I'm going to share with you my revitalization trick for strawberries. As you can see, this strawberry bed is suffering in a number of ways. First of all, the soil level has dropped about six inches. So if I were to just add compost to this, I would end up burying my strawberry crowns, which can in turn cause them to rot, which we don't want. So the thing I like to do is to actually dig out each of these strawberries, lift them with the soil and roots intact, set them aside in some kind of a trough planter like I've done with these over here, and then in just a, like a trough or you know container or something, a bucket, whatever, and then build the soil back up, amend it, and then replant the strawberries. This is a two by four bed. So when I replant this, I only need eight plants, one per square foot. And so that means I can be selective about which of these strawberry plants I want to keep. Something small like this, like this one, is not great. And there's a lot of roots in here, I can see that. So it's Ah, this is from the this is from the tree. Not great. All right, so we're gonna dig those out. Something like this. This guy's pretty small. It's flowering. It's kind of suffering. I probably won't reuse this, but we'll set it aside just in case. This one right here looks really good, though. So I'm going to lift around it. Wow, okay, that's some serious tree roots going on here. So I'm taking as much of the soil root ball as I can with it, and I'm gonna clean it off later. Holy cow, that is, this is a tree root. <laughs> this, by the way, happens this is a tree root, and this is stealing nutrients and water from my strawberries, so I'm gonna dig these out too. It's an unexpected additional project. And I'm just placing these Now that the bed is all cleaned out of tree roots and other things, I can now add really good quality soil to bring this up to, up to this height. I'm also going to mix in some compost, some worm castings, and some organic fruit and berry fertilizer. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> This is not quite up to the height that I want. This gives me enough room to add some worm castings and compost and replant, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. These are fresh worm castings from my worm bin and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna take couple of handfuls here and sprinkle them in. I did see a worm. Hi, yes. After worm casting, some homegrown compost. Oh, 
a grub for the chickens. And while the soil level may not be all the way to the top, that's okay because there are some roots and soil on these plants and we still want to be able to cover it with a netting for safety. So we're almost ready, uh, just need some fertilizer and then mix it all in. I don't want to use too much fertilizer, just enough to give them something to motivate new root growth. So phosphorus and potassium, but mostly, well, mostly phosphorus for that. So just a little sprinkling to get that going. And that's it. Now we're going to mix it all together. This new soil is very loose, so I don't have to work too hard. Smooth it all out. That is a rock. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right, now we're ready to plant. Before we plant though, we have to clean up these strawberries. Some of them are in pretty good shape. We just need to take off any old dead stuff. Bring a bucket over here. Old dead stuff, you know, dead leaves, twiggy bits, any leaves that are eaten or changing color, uh, old crowns that aren't super great but I want to leave as much of this intact as possible. And of course, I'm going to pinch off any new fruiting growth because we want these plants to focus on root development, not fruit making right away. Okay. When planting strawberries, you want to avoid burying the crown. The crown is the part where the leaves meet the roots. So right here in the middle, uh, and that has to stay above soil level. If you plant them too deep, they can rot. So I'm gonna make sure the roots are buried and backfill so that those guys aren't too, too deep. This is a really nice one. It's just a few leaves on here that need to be cleaned up. flowers. No flowers, please. And this guy is pretty much ready to go back in. <laughs> it's in my hair. So I'm planting eight plants in eight square feet, one per square foot. Mm hmm. Okay. And that's it. Revitalize your strawberry bed instead of having to buy new. Save money and save plants. If you like this video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to find out when our next video comes online. Consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. Hey Mittens, hi, come here. Mittens is here to say hello. Mittens appreciates your Patreon subscription as well and uh, all the other stuff that you can find at gardennerd.com. Happy gardening. <laughs>